Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You're now tuned into the one and only B-Rash Show, and I'm your host, the M to the J to the... You already know how it goes. So I hope you guys are having a beautiful day, beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, today, as you can tell from the title, we're going to be uh, getting in heavy on a particular film that came out on December 18th, 2020. Once again, it came out and premiered this year, December 18th, 2020. Okay, and this film... Uh, I'm going to be giving you guys my opinions and my reviews and discussing on it. So we're going to go straight into it. We're going to be talking about the film Ma Rainey's The Black Bottom. Once again, Ma Rainey's Black Bottoms. So first off, I want to give you guys a little background. This film, this film was produced by three producers, Denzel Washington, Todd Black, and Danny Wolf. Now, before I start going in, checking and seeing what was the, uh, who were the like, the composers and everything etc the writers i had to go in and watch the film okay sometimes a lot of times i do that i watch the film but as i watch the film and after i finish watching the film and then when i start looking up some of the composers and the writers the authors and the screenplay writer i start realizing okay it made sense who was one of the producers so if you guys don't know that denzel washington as i just stated a minute ago was one of the producers denzel washington now, if you haven't seen this, if you have seen this film already, you've seen this movie, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, then you would tell while you would tell that it was obvious that Denzel Washington was one of the producers or had something to do with this film. Now, before I even went to start looking this up, and that's like when I was watching the movie, especially when we're talking about Levy, okay? I will get into that in a minute, but Levy's role and character, it had that kind of Denzel Washington vibe to it and feel to it, like from um what, Mo Better Blues. And then also even the other one where he was, uh, the other one, uh, Malcolm X. You know how when he uh, first came to the cities and everything, and remember when he used to be dressing with them colorful outfits and everything and doing all that little walking and smooth walking before he went to prison and then changed his life around? This movie had two of the, both of those vibes, okay? So partial from Mo Better Blues and then partial from the Malcolm X movie. It had that kind of vibe to it, that swing vibe to it. Now... Uh, as I said, Denzel Washington, we all know, is, is a beast. Okay, what more can I say? I don't need to say it. I, do I really need to say it? You guys know anything that Denzel watch, Washington touches is pretty much just, just flat out, straight out. Okay? But this movie, Ma Rainey's Black Bottle, uh, it... it, it it, it, it was a it was a good movie okay I will say it was a good movie it was a hell of a movie and I liked it I think it had some strong messages behind this movie as well so once again for all of you guys that haven't seen this film I will leave a link in the description where you can purchase it on Amazon ladies and gentlemen I have my own copy uh, like I said it was a hell of a movie a hell of a movie and I enjoyed it uh, it was some parts in it was some parts that were it, 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 it were in a movie where it was like I was wondering okay what's going on like I just didn't uh, I, it, it took me a, just about to be a few minutes to catch on to certain parts of what's going on and then especially my first impressions of the main character the main character Ma Rainey which was played by Viola Davis once again Viola Davis okay she's been in, a, in, in quite a bit of uh, just banger she's been in a quite a bit of projects where she did a hell of a job but I will say in this film in this film Mrs. Viola Davis playing Ma Rainey she did a hell of a job okay and she made it very very believable but I have my first opinions in uh, my per my opinions and views of Ma Rainey's uh, at, at the beginning of the film, but as certain as as the film went on, then I start more understanding Ma Rainey's character, and I just think that it was a hell of a job, and I like how the director George C. Wolf and the producers how they how they orchestrate this film together, and, and and they made it they they gave it to where you had that that vibe of the strong the strong vibe of the female lead character. Okay, it was I think it was a hell of a job done by the producers and the directors. Okay, so. Pretty much, it uh, give you guys a little bit 
the film it, it pretty much is I don't want to spoil it because some of you guys that haven't seen it so I don't want to spoil too many things I will say this film was of course it was based on back in a different time zone and a different time frame where the men and the women were completely different uh, and I always say this and I always express it uh, I love this type of era where this movie was focused on I love this is one of my favorite type of eras okay I like the way the men and the women were in during this time of era especially the women okay you guys know I'm a bitch major, major fan of the uh, the bebop errors and stuff etc and the swing errors etc and so on and so on but anyways it's pretty much the main character was mrs ma rainey uh played by viola davis and she was a famous singer and of course the movie was based on in a time zone where we knew that the the racism was heavily it was so heavy during a certain time frame and certain rights were not available to colored people so pretty much uh, it, it, it was a good job. I liked the movie. I didn't think it was too major like Coonan. I didn't think it was Coonan at all. I think this was a good movie. There's uh, that. That's one thing I have to say. I'm, I'm so t I get so tired. And I get so sick of all the black, the colored films that we see that are basically based on high racial content and slavery. I, I hate the way they all are orchestrated a certain way. But I, however, this film. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. I like the way it didn't give us that, that 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 it didn't give us that what we were used to when we look at them black racial high content of racial films. I, I like the way it was a little different and it gave us a good strong char character and vibe of the, the the colored people that were actually in this film. Okay, uh, but like I said, uh, the film was it was good. I loved it uh, from the beginning to the end. Now, for you guys that don't know, like. Uh, it's for you guys that saw this film okay in the beginning it, it, it was kind of like really tricky and really twisty because i was trying to figure out the um the supporting cast and the co-host i was trying to figure out the, the, as far as the band where they like at first i thought that was like hey are they spirits are they real really alive or are they spirits because for a minute you would get the vibe excuse me the sensation that they were stuck in this room and that they couldn't get out of this room especially when the the uh, supporting main character which I believe stole the show, okay? Chad Bosman, okay? He played Levi, okay? He did a hell of a job. I think this was one of Chad Bosman's uh, great, great films. I think he did a hell of a job in this film, and he, 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 he got really deep into this character, and I think that he actually stole the show. Uh, let me get know what you guys think in the comments. Spam in the comments for those of you guys that saw this film. Do you think that Chad Bosman stole the show of this film? Because I think he personally did. His character, the way he played that character was so vicious and was so good and was so on point and it made you believe it. And you could see that he, he kind of gave you a little bit of that Denzel Washington vibe as I spoke to you guys a few minutes ago as far as we're talking about Mo' Better Blues and even a little bit from them vibes from the Malcolm X movie before Malcolm X converted over to becoming a Muslim and start speaking righteousness, okay? But I think Chad Bosman did a hell of a job in this film. And it was good to see how this film was orchestrated. That's why I like specifically like how the director and I like how the producers put this film together and gave us that certain vibe that we needed for uh, as far as we're talking about colored films and giving us a certain type of uh, we giving up we giving us a positive vibe, but yet alone you're still showing us how how racism was heavily being constructed and being performed throughout a certain timelines. But I, I like how they didn't give us that major cooning and buck dancing. That's what I liked about this film. And it they give us what we so used to and now we see these colored films with high racial tension in it or it got this slavery tension in it i like how this did it for example Django, i didn't like that film okay with jamie fox and, and leonardo caprio i couldn't stand that goddamn movie okay i hate movies like that where they give us that slavery and just just make it look a downgrade of the black the colored people the melanated people the indigenous africans i can't stand that however i did like Leonardo Caprio's role in the film. I think that anything that Leonardo Caprio touches is is platinum, is gold. Okay, but however, going back to the topic and subject and matter at hand, I just think that this was a amazing job by the cast, and I also think this was an amazing job by the producers, uh, uh, Denzel Washington, Todd Black, Danny Wolf, and also the director uh, George C. Wolf. Okay, the screenplay was by Ruben Santiago Hudson. Once again, again, the root the screenplay was written by Ruben Santiago Hudson. 
And I think it was just a hell of a film overall. Okay, now I'm going to give you guys the key characters. The key characters was Levy, okay? Levy, which I just told you guys, I think that Levy stole the show. I think he did a great, amazing job. And, and, and he, uh, man, Chad Bossman, the beloved late Chad Bossman, man, he put on a hell of a show in that goddamn film. I mean, I, it was so believable and it made you feel his character. And, and as well as Ma Rainey, Viola Davis playing Ma Rainey, man. Viola Davis did a hell of a job playing. Um, uh, Ma Rainey's in this. Uh, also, also who I think did a hell of a job in this. Okay, uh, he's I, I've been following his work for a long time, and one of my favorite films by him is in Cooley High. Uh, none other than uh, Mr. Toledo Glenn. Okay, well, sorry, I'm sorry. Toledo was the character, and Glenn Turman was the um, actor that played the role of Toledo. Okay, once again, I think that Toledo role was a it was a good role in the movie too, and I think that Toledo role was made him a key character okay so the three key characters that made i think personally that made this film successful levi ma rainey and toledo levi played by chad bossman ma rainey played by viola davis and toledo played by glenn Turman. what i like mainly in particular about is how when each one of them were given a story about what happened to them in the childhood or certain things that they witnessed and they were showing you about the difference between the racial tensions and, and, and the problem and issue with the white folks um, I liked it how Levi how Chad Bossman when he was given his uh, backstory of what happened to him as a child with his with his father and his mother and I like how in Toledo as well how the music was playing how how they had the music playing and Toledo was playing the piano and playing the little music even when in certain parts where Levi was playing the instrument his they were playing it at the same time where they were actually giving the story even though they were talking for instance Toledo he was talking but he was actually still giving the story but it was it was synchronized with the music so I really liked that part there were key parts that I liked about this film and one of the key parts were the, the sections where um, Levi was given his backstory and Toledo was playing the little they had the little music playing but I also like how when Toledo came in after Levi gave his backstory and uh, Toledo was playing uh, Toledo was playing the piano and it was going on flow and synchronizing then he started talking when he was talking about the stew and talking about everything in the stew like the carrots and the potatoes that was just so amazing I love that okay so Mr. Glenn Turman that was a hell of a hell of a job and I like the way the director had that set up specifically where he orchestrated that and had that flowing synchronizing with the with the music playing while Ch um chad boston was uh playing levi how he was giving his backstory and also how um glenn Turman came in and, and, and responded and given a little story but he was talking but it was still giving the story right after levi had given his backstory what happened to his mother and his father as a child i liked the way how the music was going and he had the, the song was perfect i think the song was perfect for the backstory and, and when he started talking about that stew about the mashed potatoes i mean the potatoes and the carrots and everything else and the ingredients in that stew man it, it was so amazing and i don't know about uh, you guys but for me i understood and i knew that the the stew, how, how he was connecting the stew to the re, the relativity of black folks and how it was relating to and specifically pertaining to it. It was a metaphor to the issues and the struggles with how with the, what, what black folks was going through, what colored folks was going through, what indigenous Africans and Africans was going through. So I like that about this film. It was one of my favorite favorite scenes is when they were doing this telling the story and the music was playing at the same time where Toledo was playing the piano so I love that part okay Chad Bossman and uh Glenn Turman did a hell of a job as the characters of Levi and, and Toledo now what also stole the show the scene that I like I like the scene when Viola Davis playing Ma Rainey's I like the scene as when she was when she, they were getting ready to do the song but then she asked she was like where's my coke and then they didn't have a coke so she sent her nephew and one of the band members to go get a coke and then the, the the scene where she was basically telling the story to cutler i believe yeah it was cutler she was she was basically dropping everything dropping knowledge to me she was spitting wisdom and she was going in a heavy discussion with cutler you could tell that her and cutler was close even though cutler was a band member and he didn't agree with certain things but her and cutler my Ma, Ma rainy and uh, cutler was close and basically when she started going in it, it it made you feel really feel why Ma Rainey was the way she was because when they first when the film first started off when she first when her after her first scene in the film you you kind of got that like she was basically too stuck up and high and so cocky into herself and that she was just a major excuse my language but that she was a bitch but 
after that after that first scene but then when it got into the scene where she uh, was in the heavy discussion she was talking and chit chat with C cutler waiting for them to come back her nephew and, and the other band member um to come back with the uh coke you start more understanding how she like the way how her, she was the way she was and i, I personally think that it, it changed my perception because my first perception was like I said for y'all excuse me but I thought that she was a bitch and she was heavily stuck up but then I, as, as right after that first scene that first scene when it got into the other scenes that's when I knew okay I understood more of my Rainey's role and I was like man this was important I think this was an important message to me for the melanated women because there is a misperception and there is a narrative that women have always been under the shadow of men which that is actually completely false women have never been under the shadow of men i always say this and always preach this that women have done a lot of amazing things throughout history the fact is is that see we see especially the women especially the melanated women but this goes for all women but especially specifically the melanated women you guys' problem is, is that you guys you guys focus so much on the narrative and who's telling the story and then you become trapped and become trapped and bamboozled into the story then all of a sudden you start going along with certain things that's not actually beneficial and some things that have nothing to do with you guys okay because there was a lot of women that have done a lot of great things throughout history and it was not always about men men was not it was a lot of women throughout history that was putting in a lot of work and, and, and it was it's the reason why certain things are the way they are were because of women so sorry about that everyone i'm back i'm back i'm back your boy is back okay i had to get that cleared up couldn't be staying on camera with the runny nose and stuff i know y'all be like boy if you don't go wipe your nose but anyways like i said the rap get ready to close this up i don't want to keep you guys too much longer like i said personally i think that this was a, a very very good film um I enjoyed it all the way through. It, it was a great movie. It had me going. To, it, it, I was entertained. And, 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 it, and like I said, it had strong messages in this film, okay? I think one of the strong messages in this film was as far as pertaining to the melanated women, the indigenous African and African women, I believe that this was a strong message to let you guys know that there were a lot of women, especially melanated women, that had done a lot of great things in life and in, in, in history and contributed to a lot of the great things in history. And it's sad that, like I said, the narrative, uh, has always portrayed that women were always underneath men and women were beneath men and women just were stuck at home and women did not have were not successful as men which is actually false that a lot of women were had done a great things and we a lot of things that we have and, and, and as resources that are available to us it would not be if it was not for women as well and especially mel melanated women and that's just including every other race of women as well okay so we need to stop this um stop all this buck dancing and cooning about oh women this women women this and all these feminist movements because like i said women have never been under the shadow of man it's just about the people that are telling the story and that are narrating the story this is the problem that we have and this is always when i say when we're talking about the black communities and the black cultures and civilization of people the more we start the more we start relying on our own culture as far as learning ourselves and learning our our culture and learning our history our true history and learning about our ancestors the better we can become because when we're sitting here relying on these uh these history books and all these different textbooks um that are not actually a part of our culture and depending on other cultures to teach us about ourselves this is where we get the misconception and this is where we get bamboozled so like I said, I think this movie was a help, was a great, a fantastic movie and it's not one of those old movies like we always see where it has so much high, high racial tension in it and it has the narrative of the slavery thing and it's just, you have the black people cooning in there. It was not like that. It was, this was a great movie and I think that um, they gave, they showed us that Ma Rainey, that which, how she was and who she was. I think that's what I, I, I think that they really make, they focus on how the real, real true story of Ma Rainey. I think that's why I think that the producers, Denzel Washington, Todd Black, and Danny Wolf did a great job. They 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 made sure that this movie was basically very very relevant to the actual real story of Ma Rainey. So if you guys don't know, this was not a fictional story. This was actually based on a true story, and they did a hell of a job touching on key points of the true story. So. Like I said, for you guys that have watched this film um, already, I'm highly curious to know what do you guys think? What's your comments? What's your opinions? Do you guys think that this was a good movie? Did you like the movie? And what did you think about um, Chad Bosman's role as, uh, as Levi? And what did you think about Ma Rainey's role, uh, at, I mean, Viola Davis' role as Ma Rainey? Do you think that these, this was a good job? Personally, I think that Levi stole the show. 
Chad Bosman stole the show with the, his role as Le Levi, but uh, Ma Rainey, Viola Davis is right there, right there, right beside him playing Ma Rainey. Her, she did a hell of a job as well, but I think that Levi uh, just uh, stole the show just a little bit, a tad bit, okay? Chad Bosman did a hell of a job. For all of you guys that have not seen this film, I highly recommend that you watch this film. It's a very good movie. And it's very, it'll keep you going and it is very good. It's, it's fun. It got, it has its humorous parts in it, but it almost also has its, its serious parts in it. And it also has uh, important messages in it, okay? A very important message, especially for the melanated women. Um, also, like I said, to me, the three key characters in this film was Levi, played by Chas Bos Bosman, uh, Ma Rainey, played by uh, Viola Davis, and Toledo, played by Glenn Turman. These were the three key characters that made this film great and, and, and excellent. And like I said, my two favorite scenes were the scene where, where Chad Bosman playing Levi, Levy, Levi or Levy, um, where he was telling the backstory of his um of what uh, as him as a child of what happened to his mother and what happened to his father and then right after he finished toledo played by glenn turman uh he went into talking about the stew and talking about the carrots and the potatoes and so on so on and as he was playing the piano it was just an amazing job and i also think the scene where the second number the second scene that really was just amazing was when uh, Viola Davis playing Ma Rainey when she was talking to Cutler uh, when they were alone in the studio and she was just going in about the white folks and about how they don't care about her and everything and she went in deep and was talking about the blues. But that's all I have for you guys. I want to thank you guys once again for tuning into the show. This segment was longer than I expected it to be, but I just wanted to go in with you guys and it just talk about this, okay? I think this was very important. I think this was it's a very important film, and I highly recommend that all melanated people, indigenous African and African people, should watch this film if you haven't. Once again, I will drop a link to this in the description to where you'll be able to purchase this, uh, purchase this and cop it on DVD. Uh, it's your choice. Uh, like I said, spam in the comments and let me know what you think. If you haven't watched this film yet, then I don't know if you guys are going to have any comments, but you're more than likely to spam in the comments anyways, and even if you haven't watched this film. But if you have watched this film, especially the women, if you have watched this film, man, spam in the comments. I'm curious to know what you guys think, especially I'm curious to know what you guys think about Ma Rainey's role, okay? I'm curious to know what you guys think. But I think that the producers and the director did a hell of a job by making this, this movie basically touching straight on to how the real story of my rainy okay so that's all i have for you guys i want to thank you guys for once again for tuning into the show once again i appreciate all you guys' love and support so you guys already know what to do make sure you like comment subscribe and don't forget to share this video click that notification button so you'll always be up to date when i drop new content so y'all already know what it is it's the m to the j to the you know peace i'm out